So let's talk a little bit about when and maybe possibly when not to use certain balls. You're talking about a tournament condition. You start out on a fresh condition. Uh, the back ends are really, really crisp. Maybe you start out with a symmetrical ball uh, and you find out that it's really continuous. Then there's a little push, a little carry down, and you start to leave flat tens. Well, at that point, you switch to an asymmetrical ball because it comes off the spot a little bit harder. But you've got to be careful that your skid zone doesn't change. So you've got to start paying attention to the front part of the lane and the back. In the case of uh, a tournament play, the duration of the tournament, you might start with an asymmetrical ball and you're striking like crazy. All of a sudden, you start flat tenning a little bit. It's because you're not getting the continuation. The ball's peeling off energy too quickly, and it's going through the pins not as cr uh, crisp as it was earlier. You move to a symmetrical ball, and you blend it out a little bit, and you get a little more continuation. So again, watch the 10 pin. Watch how the 10 pin leaves the deck, if it's leaving. Uh, is the 6 pin pushing it into the middle of the deck, or is the 6 pin wrapping around it, or is the 6 pin laying in the channel? If it's laying in the channel, you're definitely not having enough energy in the pocket. If you're here, you go here. Or if you're here, then you have to go back here. Depending on where you're at and what that pins are doing is where your next move is. Don't be afraid to change from symmetrical to asymmetrical or vice versa. Again, it's, it's going to be a matter of what you're bowling on and how they transition and how many people on your pair are throwing your thing. That'll screw things up for you. But again, have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and we'll talk about everything except us making a urethane ball. <laughs>